Okay, now for a second of the two little pet shop offering here on the LPF vlog. And. Yeah, this should actually be somewhat, maybe quicker than the other one. But either way, we have two pink on a podcast written by Roger S. Besser. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Besser? Yeah, anyway, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I love that title. Anyway, pretty simple plot. Blythe Darka vlog at podcast the vlog your style and the big see that and want to get on that and try to start rolling and they have problems. Um meanwhile, Penguin yeah start to tell when she is moving away and before she can clarify anything else the pet jump on it and can't really get a word in, making them all really think she got she moving away moving away, and then Penny wants to get it, but they keep showering and all the stuff for that day that she had our trouble really telling them the truth. So, I definitely, I like analyzing the writing of the show. I feel like not many people will do that, and I do feel like I want to come to a conclusion on my own on what they are. I'm sure they have been in this scene, kind of like an inclined, kind of one at one point where they, they both wrote the, the most episode. And the writing time was kind of hard to pin down for a little while. So you like what they're going to bet that. And one thing I noticed is that he has that when he has a simple plot that can go to a lot cloudy, like with Snowstorming, or I believe it was Todd Buttercream. Both of them were good for that reason. Um, and we have to have a plot that on a simpler side of thing that is not a like, super comedic event, it doesn't handle as well. I got a few for five kind of in that category. But I just throw that credit by another guy, not the creator of that time, cool. But if I do quite on that one, I'll be able to go to detail on that. Um, and in the current plot work best when they're either real music, like when they're, like, a plot line, like, why like, can't we be friends, just sounds more interesting and give them what we work with than, um, that, like, you for five, where, it, you know, where it's like, you kind of love some plot that could potentially be really interesting, but, but they'll get things there as well, so, and I think they kind of, kind of summed up in strength and weakness kind of right with the A plot from the strength and the B plot from the weakness in a way, um, but I'm technically mostly positive on this one, with catch of the plot, but that's a little complicated, can we talk about that first? I don't know, that's not much I have the main plot. But I could we can start with a plot. And it's kind of like unvetted where I have a hard time believing the character really do this. Like, I, I can see Goli kind of doing this where she being cool, or that she starts to like, really enjoy being truly something special. I can kind of buy her character being like that because they can't get one later. By like, giving her a flaw like this, good, but I think it probably. Spent the same time, it just feels like it kind of it kind of debatable in that kind of because in one way she is guilty and trying to hang on, but she gets wrapped up and but not even all that she or fact even get like you know notably not happy and then with being like she because she gets sort of a baby pickle which look fucking weird but it kind of like better pickle pink mega baby which is the most horrible thing in the world to me but it's like really weird um. And, um, you know, Pekka clearly has dropped with some stuff she, therefore, to do for her, and she doesn't really take note of that because she's being alone, but, and, and they all feel quite sad about it, and they tore up over it. So they try to have her, like, feel guilt to make her likable, but can't tell it feels wrong for her to even kind of go into it to begin with. It's like, it would better go or maybe even Rockwell, maybe, Merlin Fanil? Or then it's like a lot of the characters make you good retro enough work. And this one is more done less because I think it's natural because I'll be able to give a flaw and give her a conflict that she deals with. And sometimes it'll be caught by other people, like with Gary with Jungle or Painful App. But, but yeah, we can do conflict for a while and we'll get going interesting. Um, so, it goes more like we're trying to do that rather than really think of something natural and be coming again for it. And they try to justify it in a way. But for one fair, when they were coming out, it, but like, then they kind of come here today where someone think the numbers aren't changing by the way. Uh, someone is moving, but guys are standing. And that would be better because it was like, yeah, you know, Ruckle didn't know about the details of the quick dance and go be quickly questioning anything. And, and that quick dance can get made more sense. And 
you know, it, and, you know, the alcohol of the team, like, saying, we're going to have to check out Roy Boone, Ray Cunningham, kind of did that in that new finale. Um, but, uh, I just feel like if the Bay could, yeah, that's an old kind of character, but they kind of justify it in a way, and it kind of interesting conflict for Payne to go through, where, where it won't be a unique one, going girly or looking at water. But at the same time, I feel like it would fit better if a character was shown to be more flawed in that kind of, and, you know, and it could be believable in what going up to and vetted. My opinion on that one got down a bit, but I'm also kind of gonna flip it on it. And go and go flipping. Boy. But, whatever. Um. Um. Go. Go ahead, people are showing water for the flaw. In that, and it's a slightly funny plot, but it's not super duper good, nor get really that interesting plot. It's predictable, too, you know. We'll say predictable, like, man, we're kind of saying that the premiere, the premiere was a weak part of it, and looking kind of fan on that. Go, so, if they done probably, I think I would want great because it's kind of cliche. I've seen it, not only the minor, you know, show, but I've seen it, but only like, that's not interesting to me. Yeah, I'm like watching when the characters, when they find out. Later, uh, not moving, and they, they have plenty of moving, but you know, like, we're not going to get a book on. Or back to big moves. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, go back kind of a bit bad, and, I, and that, well, that's what I feel about that one. The April, on the other hand, is mostly good. Um, the first thing, fish appearing, because two fish appearing in a row, nothing on birthday. But, Back to being evil fisher, you know, more like in the way he was in Sleeper, where he, or well, the weird, more like, or Hamster Hood, funny thing, more one like that one actually, because he's trying to do the podcast to drum up business in the shop, and he like the like, into that. I mean, no, he did not like the way he was like a young man, and like the 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 way it's weird because at one point they try to manage to get the real script, and he mentioned how. For doing that, if they go with Bobby, I will go young man, but then kind of, I don't like that guy, don't like young man. Go, that means he didn't like that, he went kind of like, man, because that's no different from anything he does in other rap from like this. But can't talk, he had an aura of being kind of green for businessman, for technically picking a keyboard fisher, right as that from good fisher. When was the last time that happened? Probably never. But I do know where that happened. Um, what's the wonder what? Right after the production one. Um, so, yeah, but you can't, Big Tech I'm okay with, cause, like, even, oh, like, speaking of which, they seem to have a good Big Tech, but now, they're, they're, they're not at real blinking, but they're, like, they're still in the pre credit thing, and they're, like, bitching here, when they were good at the end of that one. Honestly, probably, that was meant to go for that one, the impression were when they wrote it, cause that happened, something that go get finished before it's supposed to, that happened a lot, um, so, but it's just funny how right after that, and it kind of figured out, because they show, look how they're doing all a life in that, because it fit, they just have to like work in that jump, because they can talk, so I haven't made sense, but I do think if it got a few episodes later, I don't know if it will be, a, it's not the right at all, because they either a by Nintendo Co, or they, they thought it could be separated further, I don't know. But either way, it's kind of weird. But if you take the on its own, they are good here. Um, and this plot is kind of a little bit like a plot in one we Mori, but it takes a different direction. Book is the main plot. They could be both big and catch up with Um, but I think more of a side thing to everything they're doing most of the time, and the most of them trying to fill out the viewing and stuff. Which I think they would here because all the antics are really interesting. There's a lot of good jokes in there with how they act, you know. <laughs> I was joking, I'm gonna have but you know, a fisher cat, like, broke on fisher cat, like, the fisher, uh, Frank Wall. That far. The, you know, from cat's playing a dog. I don't think quite a bit of you. Though, apparently, can't help blame, because, like, one shot, like, standing there, he had to correct the hand from, like, he put a hand from walking in. And uh, great, and I go part where one of them dressed up in flight, which is very funny. Um, you know, they work very well because a lot of good jokes and they stretch out to a potential a lot of funny part and they got a funny conclusion. It was interesting that I, tr tr I do not pay attention to the difference between both Twins and you know, Whitney because you only feel like call attention walk or twice, but I know if you're really paying attention, you can see kind of a different look. If that's how cool you show that, because one, one bit, 
um, Whitney, I think, is the one that showed the clay bitch, you know, talking about how she kind of figured her in a way. And she, and really the one who ended up bringing up, like, by, like, being forced to, it's small, but it kind of still hint at that a little bit. And I can't remember if that's the way we're going to do that or not. But, again, another minor hint toward that, and I like that. Um, again, that, and... Um, we're doing it more, more, more over, again, they work better when they're given really over the top rather than being just a generic antagonist or don't, aren't given enough to do, um, Cali. but, um, but in general, this main plot, yeah, again, turn one about the really one point can really have about it, because it is mostly funny or funny conclusion, it's very enjoyable with the way they do it. So that kind of how it got from the dream. We did an A plot, a plot with quite a bit of comedy and fun stuff. While B plot, we playing the same plot that kind of had a big thing, but you can't wait. Everything there. So, well, yeah, you too much problem comes to character for the most part. It comes to big stuff, he's now better. I think we've found the green thing, big stuff, but this improved a lot. So, uh, how you tend to be that one, I have to. Um, but so the kind of really kind of like a mixed bag because so one plot that's pretty good and the other plot that's like, debatable. And the main, the main, main plot, from plot, the main plot, that can be kind of debatable because one plot is really entertaining, it'd be like different, it could be debatable when it's feel, but now it'd be, I don't know, coming debatable, coming back into a mixed bag, what a good part of debatable, but like, you don't have to feel. And this one kind of both comes. One plot debatable, you know, plot good, and I've had one plot be flat, not great, like in vetted, and the other plot being decent. Because here we have one plot actually well, being quite good, the other plot being a mixed bag, couldn't be able to go in a kind of mixed bag. In general, if you have a couple of fun episodes, not great, but fun. And if you just pretend that scene way later and watch it completely on its own, general plan, then it's good, fun. But with the the combat kind of thing a little bit, you you just got a little bit of that. Despite the hint, it was Fisher. It's still a tank thing. It Fisher, which was flopping. Hell, we're gonna Roger Bigley introduce Kim Fisher again with back and with Bigfoot. There you go. That's another example of how he's improved on Bigfoot stuff. So he improved in that regard. But for certain guys, think you know Kim Fisher doing fine. Just, yeah, because I'm pronounced good and, um, the uncle good and, um, uh, well, I guess, Ben Fifty. I didn't do the off for that one, but they were good there. So he can greatly improve stuff, but he even improved come telling, but we're a group of three guys at the King of Finale, which also deal with going cat totally leaving. Isn't that weird? They just stay here forever. Go. Kind of a bit guy, but it kind of good main plot. So I could I can't knock it too much. We'll see how my opinion changes. So go, very good, very fruit to the pet shop. A better, probably a more a good pairing. A very good epic that probably even great. And epic of that pretty good, but also kind of debatable. So I like pairing to come back to. I'm okay. I have and now Monday we have a crack of the off of Blank Crush, and then the probably the, 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 the will be on Monday until the show ends. I do have an idea for other vlogs, you know, I want to drop one, one or two major ones I want to do, uh, but I'll wait until the LP LP after the wall pretty wrapped up for a while before going forth with all the other stuff, but I will do the main thing when I can go. And as for next week, for My Little Pony, it is The Gift of a Mod Pie, which is kind of interesting. And next week for LP, I can get a Go Figure. Uh, we have to go to both of them. I can't remember go figure one, go so, mm, maybe interesting. Be one that's kind of string. Go so, we'll be there. Um, on a side note, one of the they showed me one of the promo, but it showed a clip and clearly not from the debut, which means she's appearing again in one of the clips of coming up. Go don't show that. And when I read that, I feel okay. That clip appearing, go she appearing. Seems mm, like what? She's going back. Go so, I'm very excited for that. And it went longer than the other one, I think. That kind of thing I look back. I will see you Monday for the Clack of Kabilog.